Uh, our topic for today is going to be rain and wind. I'm Dave White with uh, South Illinois Feeder. I'm here with uh, Dan Jedliska, and we're talking about rain and wind. So what's the first thing, Dan, whenever we're talking about? When you come in, you know it's going to be a rainy, windy day. What's the first thing you want to look at? First thing I'm going to do when I get in uh, is I'm going to check my loads. I'm going to make sure that my heaviest trailers on the front, I want to know what my percentages are as soon as I start the day. Right, so you're, you're not hooking something up twice, you know, picking the wrong one, all that, you're going to get that heaviest trailer Absolutely. first. So when you go out, you know, you already know it's going to be kind of crappy out there. Uh, rain's coming down, it's blowing like crazy. You're getting ready to do your pre-trip, and what's the things that you're looking at for? I mean, my pre-trip, first thing I'm going to do is I want to make sure that everything I do is is a slowed down version. I don't want to get in a hurry just because the weather's crappy. Right. And uh, when I get in the tractor, I'm going to make sure that, you know, I'm checking my windshield wipers, making sure my the condition of my wipers are good because I'm going to need them that day. Right. Um, right. But just everything is going to be a little Slow, slower. Slowing it down. Right. Right. Once you get out on the road and you're ready to go, uh, you know, you get out there, the traffic's out there. Increasing your following distance is probably the key for especially wind and definitely rain. Why is that? It's going to be harder to stop. There's going to be a lot more um, variables that come into play. So you just want to make sure that you give yourself enough cushion to where if something happens, you have enough time to stop. Yeah, and you're you know? staying back, staying away from the spray. That's all on uh, coming off the other vehicles. You can see better, giving right. yourself that at least 8 to 12 seconds. When you get rain and wind, you're going to increase that. Absolutely. People are going to come into your space cushion. And you just got to continue to just back away. Just make sure you keep a good cushion all day long. And time, you know, we're not in a hurry on days like this. It's just going to be a slow and steady day, making sure we get there safe. Reducing your speed, adjusting for the weather conditions and the road conditions that the rain ends up causing. Right. Right. You know, typically, good weather days, you're driving across bridges, uh, underpasses, uh, going under underpasses and open areas. What's the big factor whenever the wind comes into effect? Listen, I mean, when, you go, when you're going under a bridge, you're, if, if it's windy, and that wind is pushing you steadily all the time. Once you go underneath the bridge, it's the wind's not going to be there. So you got to be focused. You got to hold on to that steering wheel. And you got to know that when you come out from underneath the bridge, it's going to hit you. The gust right. is going to hit you, and you got to be ready for that. Right. Slow down. Uh, if there's a little bit of, if the roads are a little slicker, you just got to slow down and be prepared. Right. All this stuff, you know, you're getting all the puzzle pieces together. You're getting the big picture, and everybody be safe out there. Absolutely.